how to create a database using a PHP man that's very simple first is you need to install your sum activate your sum and first open your uh, browser and type localhost from there you, you choose the PHP man mean and then you are ready to roll and uh, to create your first database but this time our target is to create your database and uh, fuse the three field names these are your ID number and of course we have the power codes and of course you, we need to uh, fuse the date so this is how to uh, automate the date using your database let us click the new right here so so this is the part two of our discussion part of the discussion is to extract information coming from your table and at the same time display all the records so we will display the records by not entering all the date and time but again the date and time is managed by your sql okay let us create our database right here let us click test 102 all right and then type the table here so we can say cows one and then we need to fuse only three columns for our tables for our table rather okay let us start here so we have here let's say id number this should be a nick id number and we will automate this using the ai or the auto increment so this is in teacher I'm gonna provide you five for the fields and at the same time of course this is the most important part to automate that so that you can create a, uh, a, a unique number to avoid duplication so that is unique ai stands for auto incrementation and then we have here of course let's say we have the power codes let, let us create a short uh, short name for that pq and then what is the behavior of this database or data type data type is of course we have the bar chart okay let us type here the bar chart okay after that we'll, of course we will provide 50 characters for this field and then the last part is of course the date runs and how to automate the date it's quite simple we will go right here at the bottom let us choose the date and time so you can choose your own here for your preference but i think the best part is date and time and uh, we will go here okay what's next so since we have the date and time well of course we, we will need to uh, fuse the current stamp and after that of course we will save this table Okay, click save there you are now we have three field names right here and we have the following data types integer and of course we have the bar chart and we have here of course the auto increment for the first part this is unique we need to say every time that you add the records you don't need to bother it because this is already um, part of the part of automation and we have the power codes here that will provide daily codes to all of us and we have here the data transaction okay what will happen is well of course we need to insert the table so we don't need to fuse any number in the id number power codes okay the knowledge is power okay for example now let's knowledge uh of course is power so we have here the date runs and we have the current stamp so we don't need to provide of course the date right here if you click this of course there is a date here but since this is a date stamp, that, that current timestamp, well, of course, it will provide, of course, the current date. Then we have here, the next field, we'll type PQ or the power codes. Let's say, um, aim high, hit the mark. Okay. Now, when we click go, there you are. So we have here the following SQL for that. So we can insert, you can use this as part of your PHP program. So insert the table and we have the following field names and of course with that field names it is associated with the values that we inserted in your database okay again we insert another record so that is automated let's say um no pain no gain okay let's go right here and then we have another uh power coach right here work and work and do your best okay let us click this one there you are. Now we will display this record. How to display this record? Well, of course, we can code to SQL. And then this is the command. No? Select a series from nodes where one. And then after that, what will happen? Well, of course, you can go right here. And of course, all the records will be displayed. So we have here the following date and the following time. This is automated. Okay. So this is automated. So it's not a problem if uh, you will not involve this in your um, user's interface. Maybe if you're creating your hypertext markup language. And uh, if you want to evade inserting time in date, so 
you can use this automation. How to do that? Again, we go. Let's go to structure. And in your structure, of course, we click here, and well, just go here, right here, to change it. Then you can see that you have the date time and you have the current time. All right, let's go right here, and then we click browse. All right. So far, we accomplished our first mission. Our first mission was to create our database. And of course, our second mission is to display all this database inside the PHP program. And of course, the core part of this topic is uh, to create the date and time. And this is to avoid also uh, the manual insertion of date and time. So we will uh, let the SQL do it for us using this, um, this field name. Okay, let us go into structure and let us examine the, the translate. Remember, we use the date time at the same time, the current timestamp to to let the SQL provide us for the current time and date. Okay, so we will create a program for the PHP that will communicate with our database. The database name here is, of course, the test 102, and we have the table here, cows. All right, how to do that? Okay, let us open our editor here. All right, so we have here the sublime text editor. We we'll start with our what? Doc type, stml. And then HTML, and at the same time, we'll put right here the head. The, head. the purpose of this is this is where we uh, fuse all, okay? We'll fuse all, fuse here the CSS framework. I will show you later on. Framework, okay? Okay, next is, well, aside from that, well, uh, we will uh, now uh, communicate with our PHP. Remember, if you write in your PHP, you can separate your PHP from your uh, HTML or hypertext markup language. Okay, let us do that here. So body, let us use here. Of course, we have here uh, the body. And here, of course, we will use the PHP. Oops. All okay. right. So let us provide the title here, H2, and then let's provide the color, style, color, then tomato. Okay. You can use your own color, and then this is how you um, power quotes. Okay, that will be the title. This is the part of our discussion. In part one, we create a program PHP. We create a table, and uh, of course, we insert the table. We insert the the the, the fields to the, the to the to the to the to the database. Okay. Now, what will happen here is, of course, we have the PHP, and then we will communicate to our local host. So how to do that is quite simple. All you have to do is to create a variable right here. Okay, you need to create a variable. Plus two, MySQL I, connect, and then you put here the local host. Then, of course, you have here the username and of course the password. And of course, you type here your database. Let us examine first the name of our database. Okay, let's go back right here. So the name of our database is, of course, we have here test102 and the table is cows1. All right, that's it. So test 102, test 102. Okay, so after that, what will happen? Okay, validate the connection, the connectivity of your database. If not, okay, string con. All right, what will happen is, of course, we will provide here the error. Okay, error, and then you put the period, the purpose of period is the first for concatenation, and then we provide the constant of your uh, SQL right here to check if the exact error. Okay, that's it. So after that, what will happen? So it's about time that, uh, of course, if uh, there is no error, we, pro we proceed right here, and then we create our own SQL. So what is that SQL? Spring, let's say we create our SQL result. Okay, equals to my, I'm sorry, my SQL I query. Okay, and then you put here, of course, the connectivity. All right, you can even separate your parameters for the SQL result and create your own functions, but this is an elementary type of coding. So we'll have to provide first the con here, of course, the variable at the top. This is the variable, and then we start here, of course, your SQL. So select, and then we have here asterisk from cows1. Remember about the table? Okay. So uh, since we are creating the date, and our purpose is to display the date, okay, uh, and of course to automate the date, so we can use it here to create the ascending and descending display of our codes. All right, how to do that? So select a list from cows one, all right. 
order by let's say let us check again our co our what you call this our uh, field name we have here of course the structure so we have to to check the date trans that's date and time all right that's easy so uh tra translate that was that is translate uh, i'm sorry i will check it again that is date trans all right so that is date trans date trans and we can say order by well, of course order by we can put here descending order or ascending order okay that's it so this is our query here all right now we will check the numbers of rows to be extracted in our table therefore we need to validate it all right how to do that so if my sql num rows that is your sql command okay then we have the string sql result if it is greater than zero, mean to say, of course, the content is displayable. Otherwise, if it is not equals to if it is not equals to zero or less than zero, there's there are no records. Okay, let us go right here. So we will put right here. Okay, if my SQL num rows is greater than zero, then therefore we will display all the rows. So we'll provide here the variable while and then put the string. This is your data, and then equals to will again. Uh, infuse your my, uh, SQLI of uh, uh, what you call this uh, loop function, my SQLI fetch, then ASOC, then string what? SQL result. Okay, there you have it. So that we confuse about this uh, open and closed spaces. This is for the if statement, and this is for the if statement. This is for blocks for, blocks for the loop. How to do that? We will display again all the data in your database. So what is the name of the data? That is what? That is test 102. And of course, data extracted to your table using cows one. So let us display that. So we will use echo string data. And then where's that data? So we will check first our ID number. This is part of your field name, remember? Okay, and then we create the separation for the field name, string, data, and we have here, of course, remember about the PQ, that's a power code. We will also display the, uh, the, the date in time. Let us check it. And then, so that uh, date runs is the, the name of the date in time. So we put here date what runs. Okay, so that's it. It's a very simple type of uh, code here. So later on, we'll provide the ornaments, but for now, let us extract all the data. So here, this is where we end our if statement. Otherwise, okay, if there are no records, okay, what will happen? Else, okay, let us again create another set of codes right here. So echo, okay, no records available. All right, that's it. So we have it here. No records available. And... Uh, well, if you open your database, we need to inject this command, my SQLI, close, and then string, con. That's it. All right. And then, well, after that, well, of course, we will run this program and save this program. Okay, we'll save this as what? Let's say, um, power one. Okay, power one cooks, save. Okay, let us check our codes. This is to check some of uh, the minor um, typographic errors. So we need to fuse here the semicolon, of course. There is no terminator in this statement. And here, we'll, we, the purpose of this statement is to look and extract information to SQL result. We created our SQL here, and we check first the connectivity of our local host and first fuse this statement. It is very imperative that you must first understand how to use the SQL commands before you, well, of course, you go to your PHP programming project. So let us fuse here, of course, this is to avoid any um, uh, text, uh, mix of text uh, or mix of data um, display. So we will provide here, that's BR. All right, this is to provide the line feed for every rows that will be displayed in our database. All right, so there you have it. So we have here, of course, the main if in statement. This is to check the number of rows. 
If the rows is greater than zero, well, of course, this will create a loop and extract all the records in your what? Test 102. And after that, if there are no records, then it will display no records. So this is the end of your main uh, if statement, and this is the start of your else statement. So that we confused about those things, and we're creating about the inner blocks for the loops inside our PHP program. Okay, let us save this thing. And then, of course, let's proceed and run this code. Okay, let us go here and then localhost. And let's type std and we will type power1.php. Let us check what will happen. So there, there you are. We have here the following records. And as you can see, this is arranged in a descending order. Okay, so we have the time stamp. And of course, no pain, no gain. Work and to do your best. Knowledge is power in high heat number. So we can use the time to arrange our date using the time or the date runs in ascending order or in descending order. Okay. What if if uh, we will use the ID number? Because ID number is unique. We can use the ID number to uh, check the current uh, power codes that was appended in the database. Okay, how to do that? Let us go back right here. Let us change the statement. If you want to change the statement, well, of course, you can change it right here. That's quite simple. So order, in, instead of order by date runs or the sending order, we can use order by what? By ID number. Okay, this is the ID number. This is part of the field name. Descending means, of course, uh, from bottom to top, ascending from top to bottom. Of course, of, correct me if I'm wrong. No? All right, let us check it again and save that. And then we we'll run the program here. Okay, so this is the descending order. This is the latest one. Okay, let us check it okay, again. We'll go to our um, we'll go to our local host, and then we will use this command insert. Let's say we will again insert another uh, code here. Let's say um, work is the battery of employment. Okay, sorry. All right. Next is let's say another code. So we have here embrace different challenges to become a better person. Okay, let us check that. All right, so I think we have problem in PQ. Let us check that. What happened in PQ? In PQ, power codes in number two. I don't know what happened in number two. Aim high hit the mark. At the same time, knowledge is power. All right, let us again insert. One more. Let us check that. So we have here, of course, the uh, cows. Okay. Uh, read and lead. Okay, let us check it again. Go. Okay, that's it. Now, we have three um, power codes inserted into this database. And if you want to create your PHP program, well, of course, you can borrow this or you can copy this and fuse that in your uh, PHP program to, cre to create an insertion or to append the record. Remember, if you are creating a program, especially if you are connecting to the database, you need to learn first the principles of CRUD. What is CRUD? Create, update, you have the delete, and of course, okay, CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete. You have also the bread. Uh, browse, read, edit, append, and delete. All right, that's it. Now let's go back right here and of course check our program. Okay. So this is our program. All right. So we have here one, two, three, four. Remember, we arranged our program in descending order. Therefore, whatever uh, inserted, uh, uh, whatever is the latest uh, codes that will be uh, posted at the top of the program, like just like this one. So when we run the program, of course, there you have it. So we have read and lead. Embrace the friends and to become a better person. Works the battery of employment. So from here you can create your own uh, project to uh, for your uh, for your uh, micro uh, what you call these applications. Now we will uh, limit the display of this uh, program. How to, to limit that? Of course, the catalyst here is to use the SQL again. So order by ID number desk, and then we will put here. Let's say limit from zero. To three. Now, what does it mean? If you have 100 quotations, and if you want to uh, limit that only by three records, and of course those records are 
or the current one appended in the database. So only three records will be displayed. Okay. So let us check it again and save this program. And then run our code. So we have only three records. This is the latest uh, appended uh, codes in your database. If you, uh, uh, if, you if you like this channel, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.